Hello everyone, welcome to Rasayan Academy and this is guys our 12th video in the 100 name reaction series and today we are going to talk about the Tefano Demjanov Demjanov rearrangement and we have already uh, understood what is our Demjanov rearrangement and this is a little bit of a variation okay so let's uh, quickly talk about what is this reaction and as always we are also going to solve some very good examples okay right so first of all what is this reaction it is again a carbocation rearrangement of beta amino alcohol so we also have the alcohol group right in the Demjanov rearrangement we did not have it right so it is going to be our beta amino alcohol so we also have the alcohol part and that after the uh, rearrangement is going to give us the ketone okay so in the Demjanov rearrangement we only had the amine group which was getting removed and the carbocation was getting formed because of the diazotization right but there was not OH within the molecule maybe later the water was attacking over it and it was giving us alcohol right so in the Demjanov rearrangement we were getting alcohol as the final product okay but in the Tiffany Demjanov rearrangement we are going to have the ketone as the final product okay right so let's quickly see it once again it is a carbocation rearrangement of beta amino alcohols via diazotization to afford carbonyl compounds through carbon carbon bond migration okay but it is going to be a very simple reaction as always see it's very simple so uh, here we have a molecule over here basically we have cyclohexanol okay and also it is having the CH2NH2 group it is the beta amino alcohol that we require for this reaction and you know that in the presence of NaNO2 and HCl or let's say any other mineral acid we are going to generate the nitrous acid over here and in the previous reaction in the Demjanov rearrangement we have prepared N2O3 which is basically the uh, you know it is actually the electrophile okay the nitrosyl electrophile which we are going to use for the diazotization all right so yes it is already discussed and I will also uh, you know give the link in this description right so this is what we are going to see let's now quickly go through the mechanism of this reaction a very simple reaction over here right so this is our beta amino alcohol and what are we do going to do first of all we have formed N2O3 from the HNO2 which was prepared in situ by the NaNO2 and HCl okay then secondly yes the amine is going to attack over one of the nitrogens and the bond over here is going to break like this so a nitrosyl group is first of all getting connected to the amine one of the proton is going to get uh, lost okay because it is going to drop off in the solvent right so i can directly write it like this the nitrosyl group is connected further you know this arrow is for tautomerism because it is going to be more like the uh, you know nitroso oxime tautomerism isn't it the nitroso group is there but here it is oxime like but since we are having nitrogen so i'm just going to show you this bond that a hydrogen could be transferred like this over here and you are going to get something like the oxime further the nitrogen can push the electrons and the oh group can leave taking up a proton like this okay so this is a very simple reaction now water is going to be lost okay water molecule is lost and finally you are getting your diazo molecule over here and as you know nitrogen is a very good leaving group here it is so nitrogen is going to leave so if you want to uh, you know write it in one step then also it is correct like this you can draw that okay as uh, the nitrogen is leaving the oxygen is losing its electron pair and forming a carbon oxygen double bond and one of the carbon carbon bond is migrating otherwise if you want to write it like this then also it's correct let's say you first want to write that there is the formation of a carbocation after the loss of uh, the nitrogen n2 plus so first of all you want to write it like this that uh, here is the O here is the H and the carbocation has generated so if you want you can show the carbocation or you can write it directly it's the same thing okay so this is how the bond migration is going to take place and further you are going to get ring expansion over here since we have taken a ring or uh, let's say a molecule 
in which ring expansion is possible due to CC bond migration. So definitely we get a seven member ring. We get a seven member ring when we have started from the six member ring. Okay, so this is ring expansion through carbon carbon bond migration. And this is your Tiffany Demjano rearrangement. The only little difference is that you are having a a uh, hydroxy group within the molecule on the beta carbon beta amino alcohol hai and that is why through rearrangement you are going to get the ketone okay very simple reaction so we can apply it onto this molecule this is our example number one right so again i would request you to stop the video do it by yourself and till then i'm also doing it so what do you expect guys you have seen NaNO2 and ACOH, the acetic acid. Okay, so uh, in the presence of acid, you are going to get HNO2. And then from this, you are going to get N2O3. So I'm directly going to write the diazo formation because this we have done several times. Okay, so this is what I have. The addition of nitrosyl group. And further, you can remove these bonds and do the tautomerism. Okay, what are you going to get after tautomerism? It is going to be like this. Take care that this carbon is above the plane. Alright, so yes, this is how it is going to be. Into the oxime kind of a bond. And yes, the proton is going to be abstracted by the OH. It's going to leave. So finally, you are going to get your product. Finally, you are going to get uh, the diazo compound like this and further just make the diazo leave you can write it as a carbocation also right so yes what i am doing is i did not write the silicon group but now i am going to add it because that is going to make a difference okay so here is our sime3 on all of these carbons it's present sime3 and SIME3 right it is going to make a difference guys what is the difference that it is going to make there is going to be a possibility of a major and a minor product isn't it why because see now if uh, I have two possibilities either I can make this carbon migrate over here so let's do that first let's make this carbon migrate and definitely there is going to be ring expansion so we can uh, try and make it a seven member ring somehow Yes, here it is, a seven member ring. Since this carbon has migrated, one of the carbon uh, is inserting between this carbon-carbon bond. So the extra carbon is inserting right over here. And there is no uh, change in the stereochemistry of the silicon group because yes, on migration, there is retention, right? So this is one possibility. This is one possibility. This is our product. The other possibility that I told you that it's going to make a difference what difference is it the other possibility is like this that this is again our carbocation and the same group over here so further if you want to do the migration migration from this carbon is also possible and how are you going to write the product you are just uh, same you are just going to write the six uh, seven member ring Okay, just write the seven member ring, but you have to take care of one thing that on this side, there is no insertion. The insertion has taken place on the left hand side, which means that the silicon group is going to be on the exact same distance to this carbon as it was before. So, it was three carbon ki distance, pe tha, right? One, two and three before migration, one, two and three. It's going to be like this. So, these are two different products that you are getting. Okay, this is second product. Alright, so first look over here. The insertion has taken place on the right hand side like this. Okay, and over here the insertion has taken place on the left hand side, this side. Alright, so these are the two products that you are getting whenever you are having, uh, you know, both of these alkyl groups are different. Now, which is going to be the major product? Definitely the one which is more substituted is going to migrate better. So yes, this carbon is going to migrate better, substituted more. This is a major product ho gaya, and this is going to be the minor product over here. Right? So I think that this is understandable and you will be able to do this by yourself also. Let's talk about a very good reaction over here. Right? It looks like uh, this is a very complex molecule but it is not. 
it's a very simple reaction so you can uh, you know try and do it by yourself also example number two now what do you see again we see NaNO2 and ACOH it is going to form the HNO2 and uh, again you are going to get the N2O3 by the same mechanism so I am just uh, starting to write this how we can uh, you know write the mechanism yes one two three three carbons all right okay so there is our OH so guys I'm directly writing the uh, diazonium because we have done it so many times now right directly writing the diazonium over here further what is possible now the migration is definitely going to take place like this but we have two types of carbon this is a three degree carbon and this one over here is a two degree carbon all right yes no one two and three no this is also a three degree carbon only this is also a three degree carbon only but which of them is going to migrate that is the whole point so if i make this carbon migrate like this okay i am going to get something i am going to get a product like this let me just uh, draw this over here okay no it's a five member ring only right one two and three so one two and three so there has to be a bond over here this is wrong okay yes yoga all right and further the bond comes over here oxygen and one extra bond inserted so i can write it like this also okay so if you want you can write it like this or there is one more very beautiful representation you know if you want to draw it in a nice manner then it can be written like this okay there is your uh, carbonyl carbon much better way to write the same thing all right so basically this is the carbon which is getting inserted onto this side when the three degree carbon is migrating okay when this carbon is migrating this is going to be your major product this one is our major product right over here now there is also one more possibility that i told you that the other carbon is also a three degree carbon right the other one right over here this one this is also a three degree carbon so uh, let's say I'm having OH and the N2 positive over here so if I want to make first of all the position of migration is very nicely given over here because as you can see these two bonds are anti periplanar to each other right and that is the best way of migration right so definitely the bond migration over here is more uh, you know it's going to migrate much better as compared to the other one all right and even if you want this one to migrate it is going to be a more strained ring all right the carbon is more strained over here and if it migrates like this you know you're getting a double bond and if it wants to migrate yes uh, this carbon if it wants to migrate it's the same five member ring over here you are getting a double bonded oxygen over here and this is going to be your product all right so this is not going to form this is our minor product or let's say it is not going to form at all <clears throat> because see the product is 98 percent and this is your major product not this one because of the because the geometry is not as good as this one right anti periplanar position to be migrating also the carbon is more strained all right so that is why it cannot you know extend itself and attack like this so this is not happening this product is not going to form all right so here it is guys two very good examples on tiffano demjanov rearrangement i hope ki kuch samajh mein aaya hai aap logo ko and if that has happened please uh, give it a uh, give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends if you think the content is good more new name reactions are definitely going to come up so also subscribe if you already haven't and guys if you want you can uh, visit me on an academy as well because a lot of uh, good stuff is being discussed almost every day all right so yes, thank you so much and bye. I'll see you in the next video coming up very soon. Till that, keep studying, keep practicing. Bye guys.